this tutorial about MidiView. Um, MidiView is a cool, handy program that you can use whenever you want to like debug your MIDI or see what's going on or stuff like that. So the concept is that uh, MIDI view connects to your MIDI device and your application connects to MIDI view. So what we do is we create a virtual uh, MIDI port where you can connect to and that way you can see both directions um, uh, the messages in both directions. So I have a MIDI setup here. It's an APC40 MK2. Um, this is my MIDI view application. It's really simple. Uh, it's enabled or disabled. I'll go come back to that later. Um, I can connect to my device and now I can see anything I do on my screen. So the interesting part starts when I open up another program and connect to the let's see preferences oh sorry preferences um so here's my APC40 but I don't want to connect to my APC40 <clears throat> I want to connect to my MIDI view port so whenever I do that um it's it's gonna it's gonna act like um, it's gonna act like a, a, a loop. So um, Resolume thinks that it's an APC forty that is found on the MIDI view port. Um, so whenever I load the default shortcuts for the APC forty, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, all the colors, everything is there. Um, and that's also what you see here. Mm, let's stop this. Uh, let's open this. Um, let's get MIDI view again. So whenever I refresh, you see the application talking to the software and vice versa. So um, now you can also see things that are changing. And actually, you can see that a lot of a lot is happening. So, whenever you have like problems with your MIDI, or you're not sure, or if things get laggy, or whatever, just use this, and um, you'll immediately immediately see what the problem is. So, I said that I would come back to the enable disable function. Well, if you disable uh, MIDI view, the MIDI is still sent through, but we're not doing anything with it. So if you're live on a show or whatever, and you wanna have MIDI view in between just as backup, as suddenly you enter like a, a weird state or something, then you can enable it afterwards so you can see what's going on. But during whatever you're doing, you can disable it so you have no lag or no problems from the software itself. So um, yeah, that's MIDI view, it's free. Head over to the website, download it, uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, subscribe, uh, like or comment. Uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.